Take a look at this. Is this the Taj Mahal? What the? It's a combination. Wow. Wow, that one is huge. Wow, we, we can trek out your Tagalog now. We don't, I don't need another fail, okay? And everyone here is very nice. There we go. <laughs> and that skirt is paired with white socks. Well, we're finally here. Puerto Real is one of the most exclusive subdivisions in all of Iloilo City. The houses here are absolutely massive. I had no idea about this place. And it, like the houses. Oh. Yeah, because there's none for rent. That is why we've never I been here. Really? Oh my gosh! I just want to like walk around. I just want somebody to invite us to their house just so I can look inside. Well, you might be in love. So cool. And so in this community, they have a private international school. And so we've been invited to go in there because the guy who runs the expat meetup, Alan, he's the organizer, he is one of the professors here. So he invited us here and as well, he lives in this community. And so we said we could pop by and take Do a look. Little. And uh, so get ready, we're gonna start with the school right now. All right, a little bit about this school. Santa Clarita International School actually started in Santa Clarita, yes. Um, yes. California. And it was way back in 1987. And uh, then they had like this big earthquake in or, like, I think it was around 94. Yeah. And it really did a lot of damage yeah, there. Yeah, in the LA area. Yeah, in the LA area. And uh, then the same person who set the school up there came and moved here and set up the school here in 1994. Yeah in the beginning when they did it they did it from their home here in the community yes yeah right in molo and then they built up and here we have yeah and all the way to this school. school in such a short period of time and it was the first international school that had like ac and everything i think it was the first international school here in, in the city yeah all right and this is the person who's going to be helping us today that's going to show us so much about this school this is alan nice to meet you alan and a great pleasure to meet you michael and i apologize actually first of all but my wife miss prima who is the principal of the school and she started in the usa back in the 1980s and unfortunately she's in meetings right now so I am going to be the stand-in. <laughs> well, I don't think it's a bad stand-in at all. So to give you an idea, Alan keeps us expats organized when he hosts the, the different lunches that we have here. And uh, well, at the same time, he's also part of helping organize all the students in this school. So this is going to be an interesting day. And we're looking forward to being able to see this because uh, we haven't been in any of the private schools, to be honest, here in the Philippines. So this will be extra special for us. So this is the cafeteria for the school. Yeah, there's a ton of options. Yeah, yeah and meat, it's... Meat, fish, veggies. It, I don't know if it's just it hasn't started yet or how it's going, but yes, all the food is here. What time is it now? Oh yeah, it's still early. Hot fine. dogs. Of course, <laughs> kids love hot dogs. Sizzling. And of course, they get a lot of sweets here too. Lucky kids. Mm. Lots of them. And then over here, they have potato twister and shomai oh my gosh can you imagine if you had shomai in high school i mean well, i don't know what grades it goes up to yet <laughs> but yeah potato twister just used to sell these no onion blooming onions, Blooming onions. yeah just during the summer wow so what what uh grades did you go up to here it starts at kinder which is okay. uh, yep. like two years old oh two years old wow boys or girls and then it goes right the way through to 18. oh wow high so school, right so through senior. okay okay so you go right from here to college uh -huh. Wow, that's amazing. And we support that process, but also we support them with a project in Malaysia where they can study in Malaysia for 30 months, get a diploma in terms of management or business or other things, and they get free education, free board, free food. So, we're going to have Hello everybody. So this is the science laboratory. Wow, it is huge. Hello everybody. Hello. Nice to meet you all. Nice Our, to meet you. Oh, look at this. Yeah, look at that. You can put out your fire right away. No problem. I assume they deal with that sometimes. Yeah, it's biology. Biology, so, that's true. Dissection, yeah, everything. Biology and chemistry to wash. Right, right. Yeah, we actually have showers here as well because when people get dirty with the 
science experiments and right. you can even have a shower. I got better lighting if I go over here. The lights are off right now because it's mid-afternoon. You don't want it to get too hot in here. I'm told actually that um, by many parents that have said that this is actually the biggest science laboratory in all the schools here. I wouldn't doubt so, it. This class is enormous. Especially considering also, it's not going to be full of a hundred students at a time, right? Okay. The class sizes are, are, are good size here, very small. Makes it easier to learn. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you missed the science lab. All right, and so what are all these other classes here? Okay, so this one here. So this is the 11th grade, Science okay. and Technology. And I think they're still on lunch. They're just playing yeah, guitar yes. and playing yeah. out. Wow, look at that. That was so cool. Hello, everybody. <laughs> wow. All right, so this is another interesting thing, and I believe it's the only school that is offering this. Is that correct? As far as I know. As far as you know, okay. Keeping told. This is a speech laboratory. And so here, what is the purpose of a speech laboratory? Well, if you look up here, so this is the control panel. Okay. And a teacher can turn any combination of these 20 uh, sections where she can hear the sound of every individual student or any combination of any of the students and see if the pronunciation is good enough. Right. That is so cool. Right, because it's obviously going to be very difficult to understand how much that person has progressed in a group setting any other way. Yes. And this is perfect. And you can hear them like through yeah. headphones. Yeah. Wow, like we, we can check out your Tagalog now. We don't, I don't need another fail, okay? We'll just pretend I'm good at what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out is uh, this was the very first school in the area that uh, had air conditioning, air conditioned classrooms. Uh, many of the provincial schools do not have air conditioning for the students. So, yeah. Can you imagine how hot that would be? I would die. I would die. Hello, guys. How are you? Are, are you just on lunch right now? I think so, right? Yeah. A little bit of break stuff. No problem. Yeah. So this is 10th grade. Fantastic. But you can see how big the classrooms are. Yeah. So what, so what we do in the school is, is the classrooms are sized according to the students' age. So the older they get, the bigger the classrooms get. Right. That's so smart. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Because of course you get bigger when you get older. And we noticed actually when we first came in, we didn't obviously film it, was that uh, there was a lot of one-on-one -on -one teaching with very young children. And so one teacher to one student, incredible. Um, but they, you know what? They're going to learn that much quicker. Hello, everybody. Wow. So, so yeah, there's already a whole bunch in here. It's nice and cool in here, though, right? Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Well, it was nice to meet you all. Thank you so much. Look at how well behaved everybody is and the classes are fantastic and everybody in there when we're not you know like right now I'm looking at they're all laughing and they're having fun so uh, yeah everybody's having a great time wow love that so that's what we want to try to promote we want to try to promote the fun yes because if they're enjoying their life yes they can learn better yeah and yeah, they enjoy school we, everybody we've met of school age are always excited to go back to school. Always excited to go back to school. Which blows my mind. Yeah, it blows her mind, totally. She's like, what? You guys every, want to go to every, school? Yeah, most Come on, they, they have all their friends here and everything. And another thing you're probably gonna notice, if you're in the West, you'll be like, wait, what? Is, um, how many are on their cell phones? Yeah. In those classrooms right now, there's no teacher in there, by the way. They're all sitting there. I, nice, and none of them are hanging out on the there's cell there's not like a million students sitting right on this, like uh, the benchers or right. teachers on their phones. No. I'm so surprised. They're all playing badminton, having fun, chatting, talking, everybody. Wait, are you allowed to have phones? Like, if I, I saw people in the lunchroom 
with it on the table. They just weren't using it. Because I know some schools are like, take away your phone. Yeah. Do you do that or do you just... No, we, no. we allow them access, but they're very responsible. Wow. Yeah. So we, we are lucky here to have one of the students here who we, the parents are okay with uh, her talking to us. And so we can learn a little bit about the school. So what's your name? Um, I'm Keith, but my name is Mary Grace Pernatinelli. Mary Grace. And how old are you, MG? 13. 13. And so you're in grade 8. Yeah. Wow. How long have you gone to school here? I think about 9 years. 9 years? Wow. Wow. So I've, that's a long time. I've never been to any other schools before. And do you enjoy going to school here? Yeah. Yeah? This school is really amazing. And do you live right here in the community too? Yep. My house is very close here. Oh, so you get to um, walk? Not really. My mom makes me go with my driver. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Well, it's hot. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, and do most of your friends here, you, you, you know them personally, like from the neighborhood too? Um, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. And so what's your favorite part about the school? What's your favorite class? Let's say that. Class? Yeah. Um, I think my favorite class may be, uh, Science. Science. Oh, that's fantastic. You're so well spoken, by the way. Oh, Unbelievable. I honestly, do I love right? it? Right? Honestly, and so well spoken. My dad is from England. Okay, that but explains really a lot. Special about the school that it's caring and it's welcoming. And this school is also very fun. It has many events here, and everyone here is very nice. Wow, very nice. What? Halloween. What do you think about Halloween? Halloween here is pretty cool because some students here are like create their own costumes and it's pretty cool. Wow, what about you? Are you going to make a costume? I do you... made my own costume. Oh, what are you going to be? Um, it's like based on this game, it's, you know, Yandere Simulator? Yes, I do. I... You know Ayano? Like the main character? Yes, yes. Yeah, I made a costume. I got the uniform from a thrift shop right. and I just decided to make it more like hers. Right, right. To look. Wow, that's incredible. Here in this subdivision, we also have sugar treating. Oh. Whoa. Premium. Porto Riel selling point right there. Yeah. Wow. And we also have like these things that you have to like join the contest to make your house look creepy and if you win you get a prize decorating your house, house decorating and i love that i love that so much i'm moving here we can't show it right now but they have a whole like one one bedroom they have a whole one bedroom apartment and they use it as a home economics class so you can learn how to Cook, clean, I don't know. Make I don't it... know. I never took a home oh, ec yeah. class. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I came from a time when home ec was actually standard. They even showed you what forks to use when you're eating and everything. Like, you know, all the polite table manners, things like that. But also, like, just learning how to exist without your parents doing everything for you is pretty darn important to growing up. And so for them to have this there, where you learn how to properly make your bed and how to clean and, you know, just even how to cook dinner and how to eat properly, all those kind of things are so important uh, for people. These are real life skills that people are actually going to use. And uh, that's that's totally amazing. I, I'm actually really blown away it that makes, they have something like this. It makes it, it's so unique because you don't really get that. You can learn home ec, but then you do it in a normal classroom. Here you get a full like hands-on experience. So they got some computers here for the kids. They have tons of books. So through here, you've got Scholastics uh, program that's also available here. I understand the Scholastic. Yes, yeah. And look at this. They even have a kids reading section. Okay, so every year we donate a lot of books and also in fact food and other things to organizations and people in need. Christmas, all the drivers come along and we give them parcels. And these books here, uh, every year we pile up the books and then we distribute them amongst the poorer families and the poorer schools that can't really afford much. That's fantastic. Look at the pile. It yeah, is a huge amount of books. They've already got them all bundled up. A lot of just different textbooks, yep. books in general. Different grades, everything. For everybody. Yep. 
And across the street here, for the high school students, they are allowed to leave the school grounds on their lunch. They have this whole area here where they can sit out, relax, sit under the tree, do whatever they like. Um, or, you know, they can go back home for lunch or that kind of thing. But it's really beautiful here in that, like you can't tell that you're in the city, by the way, you are in the city. Um, and it's just a beautiful oasis. And then there's the school there. So I'd like to introduce you to Prima Buckley. We're talking the OG, the originator, the one with all the great ideas that made the school possible. And uh, you know, this is an, a beautiful school. You did a marvelous job here. And uh, we really appreciate this tour today. Yeah, so one of the things we try to do here is to not just enhance the education in the school and let them have fun so they can really enjoy their learning and they leave as an adult with happy memories of their schooling. <laughs> um, but actually we also partner with schools and universities in other countries. So as an example, uh, we have a very high quality school in the UK where children of any age could go there. The school started in the late 19th century and, and a very, very big school and, uh, academically and sports wise as well. And it's a boarding school. So that, that's something that some of the parents here like to progress on to. Uh, and we, we don't mind that, you know, they, uh, if our students progress, that's what we want in the world. That's why we're here. That's why we exist. So uh, also we've got partnerships with Canada here. There's a Canadian education program. And we've also got partnerships with this one, which is Malaysia. And with Malaysia, they can get a diploma in hotel management any time after the age of 18. Uh, that means uh, uh, until they're 25. So even students that have left, if they can't get a job for whatever reason, we can get them a free scholarship, free education in Malaysia for 30 months, and they can end up earning maybe two, three, four thousand dollars a month. So, oh yes, this is this is the one that's coming tomorrow actually. So oh. this is Koreans, and uh, we're getting a visitation tomorrow for the, what's called the Calvin University. It's quite a big university in Korea. Okay. And we're going to and, be... And it's like a partnership that you're yes, going to work with them exactly, on. yeah. So our, our job here is to partner with anybody that's going to help uh, the children's education. Yes, and, and help them um, succeed in life. And help them progress onwards. All right, so here is the school clinic. Um, the mattress is out being washed right now, right now, literally at the moment. Oh, we got some other trophies here too. And uh, so this is for the health and wellness and for taking care of, make sure the children are in good shape if they get sick. How tall are you, by the way? Are you ready? I'm you're, you're, you're wearing, yeah, there we go. Okay. Ready? I should be 63. I'm <laughs> 62. Uh-oh. Don't, uh -oh. don't leave that right now. Nobody needs to uh -oh. see that. Uh-oh. We have to get an extra chart for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a physical it, chart. It starts, at, it ends at six feet. So <laughs> unfortunately, it's not gonna work on me. And this is the guidance counselor office. So yes, they do have a guidance counselor. And they, in a little different than you might see in the US, uh, when you get in trouble, they're not going to send you to the principal's office. They're going to send you to the guidance counselor who will then, well, guide, you. guide you out of trouble. How's that? So that you know how to behave in the future. So not only will they give you education advice and uh, help you plan your life out and your path, that kind of thing, but they also will deal with bad Emotions. punishments. Yeah. <laughs> punishment? what, what is the punishment again? Oh, the punishment in the school here because we... It's amazing. The, the children here are so brilliant. They're so loving, kind, and gentle. So, in fact, we can't really speak in a... We cannot speak in a harsh voice to them because they're so nice. And there's no need. So, so all we do is say, please don't do that again, in a nice, kind voice. And it works. And that and works. works. We don't have to punish. Beautiful. Please don't do that again. <sighs> You're lucky I don't go to the school, okay? <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work on me. 
So, most of the kindergarten classes are full right now, but guess what? We got one. We got one of them. So as you can see, they have toys here. And this is not your typical, hello, typical hello. kindergarten class in the West. Hello. The classes here are very, very small. You might only get, how many students, Max? Four. Four. Four students wow, at a really time. Good. And don't mind the darkness, it keeps things cooler. And uh, it makes a lot of sense to keep it dark if you're not teaching or anything, doesn't it? And uh, what's your name? Rana. Rana, nice to meet you. Now you might be wondering, why does the kindergarten class not have any carpet or anything for kids to play on? Well, that's because they have a kindergarten play area specifically for all the kindergarten kids. You can see they have a lot of musical instruments here. Oh, look at this. I don't think they're big enough to hold that, but to do that. Oh, and the Yeah, wow. Play the trumpet too. Got all kinds of stuff here. They got books, of course, and lots of toys. They have way cool extracurriculars. Look at that. They have belly dancing. Belly dancing. Jazz and voice. I'm about to get in yeah, Of course, basketball, but yeah, they got all kinds there. Ukulele. Can your school say that it offers ukulele as an extracurricular? Maybe. Because mine could not. Yeah, volleyball and basketball though are the number one and two type sports yeah. for kids yeah. these days and they got them both. Champion basketball, champion basketball, all kinds of things for sports here. Yeah. And volleyball and basketball is kind of big. And this is the coach of all coaches. The coach <laughs> above the coaches. Yeah. And uh, what's your uh, secret to success here? Well, hard work, of course. And this year, we introduced the elementary girls volleyball. Last year, that was the first time that we introduced the high school, the secondary girls volleyball. We're in for the very first time. The school is very proud to say that we grabbed third place. Wow, good and job. And this year, two weeks ago, we played in, in line with the celebration of Bimindo City Charter Day, and we played the championship only to, lo to lose, but we are very proud to grab the second place. No kidding. Yeah. That's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. Wow. And the basketball? And in basketball, you know, we have a rich, very rich history. Yeah. Yeah. 2017, the school represented the Western Visayas in the Palarong Pambansa. Palarong Pambansa is an event where in all schools nationwide participated and proud to say too that Santa Clarita grabbed the second place. Congratulations, yes. that's fantastic. Yes. Well there you go, sports is a big thing here for sure. Yeah. And you can see how much he cares about it. Yeah. 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 The passion, yeah. we can see the passion. Yeah. yeah, really, really important. And I'm very, very proud to involve here in this school, Santa Clarita International School. Oh, that's excellent, yeah. fantastic. Oh, oh, hello kitty pillow. Bianca's already oh, loving yes, her. Love Bianca her. loves you already. All right, principal. Yes, sir. Uh, so, how many more kids can you even take in this school? What do you think? Oh, this school year we already have uh, more than 200. Right. Okay. Yeah, we're just a small school. And what's the capacity? Uh, in every classroom, the capacity is 30. But if we reach the 30, we tend to divide them. We split them, all right. Yeah. So the school has more room to grow if more kids move to the neighborhood? Yes. Yeah, there is more room here. That's great. Yes, yes. And here is the administration office. Hello, Hi. ladies. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Are you busy? Yes, we're busy. Yeah. All right, I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. Santa Clarita. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Is this uh, one of the uniforms here? Yes. For, for gym, gym class? Um, for, for physical class. education class. Yeah, PEA. Yeah. yeah, physical education class. So you, you do have uniforms, and I noticed the students do have uniforms here as well. Yes. Yeah. You want to take a look for the sample of the uniform? Wait, Bianca, there we go. <laughs> and that skirt is paired with white socks. Ooh, okay. And okay. black shoes. And black. <laughs> In my schoolgirl era, okay. Oh, that's so And look cute. at the shirt. This for the boys. Wow. With a necktie. These I feel like I'm gonna do cosplay. I know. <laughs> yeah. This is so cute. And then I saw that the boys' uniform is like very formal, right? Yes. But I mean, apparently it's not available. The the uniform for middle school, all I have oh. here is for the grade school. The grade oh, okay. school, I see. Look <clears throat> how cute that is. All right, and here are some of the fine young uh, students. Yeah. Shout out to my mother and father. 
Clearly, they're really sad to be at school. Clearly. Shout out to my family. Yeah. Shout out to my mama. Shout out to my mother. Shout out to my dog. Shout out to my dog. Listen, back home in the West, did your kids shout out to you when they went to school? No, probably not. Well, let's just say that I've been fortunate enough to be a teacher and a lecturer around the world in many universities in various countries and uh, teaching in as far apart as Dubai and Malaysia and Australia and the UK and Denmark and so on. And, and to some all types of communities, including four royal families. And, and actually, I just want to help people. So it doesn't matter about the level of society when we help. We, we just want to make sure they all end up with the best possible outcomes for what we're trying to achieve for them. That's fantastic. And so how many kids a year do you get to sponsor here on average? The I don't know how many there are this year. Um, or in fact, since the pandemic, I don't know. Okay. Uh, so I can't say that. But before the pandemic, it was in the tens. Oh, that's fantastic. You know, so that's I, really great. I, I think 47. Wow, 47 is a really big number. I was quite shocked by that. In this neighborhood, um, as you can see, there's a lot of empty lots. So you can build um, a house here and this would be the perfect ideal place to do so. It is around, which I was shocked by this price, by the way, uh, 20 to 25,000 per square meter, which is reasonable considering that's what they were going for in places like Monte Rosa, even in parts of Savannah, that is the same ballpark. And yet this subdivision is considered the most exclusive one in the neighborhood. Rentals do not come up here, and that's why we never ever been able to come out here to show any houses or anything. It's extremely rare. There is uh, someone that we know that is staying here and they're paying, I believe, 150,000 pesos a month in order to rent. Now the company is paying the rent, so they're not personally paying it. And uh, they wanted, it was a big corporate executive at one of the big BPOs here. And so it is possible, but the price is just exorbitant for most people. So the neighborhood here, we're just gonna go for a little walk and uh, they live, you live pretty close, right? By we the school? Opposite the school. Opposite the school, that's perfect. And a little, between the hut, there's a school over there. Yep. And there's a little grass area where the children play. Yep. And they can have their snacks there. And then there's our house. Okay, wow. We're, we're having some roof repairs done right now. Oh, very nice. And a storm is about to arrive. We're gonna get some rain real quick. Look at that, look at that place, wow. That's an ultra modern looking house. Wow. Unique and different. Your house is so beautiful. And it looks like you, you're right from uh, Santa Fe. That one is huge. Look at this. Is this the Taj Mahal? What the? It's a wow. You still get the token chicken. Don't worry. You still get the chicken. You're still in the Philippines. Here 
here is the clubhouse. So this is the gymnasium here. And there is the main part of the clubhouse, the pool in behind it. And I believe it's 100 pesos per person to use the pool, according to the kids. Oh, and there's a tennis court here as well. As you can see, there is a very beautiful area. There is a lot there. It is extremely clean here. The streets are beautiful. The sidewalks are nice. The road is clearly swept on a regular basis. It's very beautiful. <laughs> 